Oh, what's going on, everybody? Good morning. How y'all doing? You know who this is. Gabriel Skywalker from Skywalker DFS, a.k.a. repping the DFS club. Coming to y'all at the butt crack of the of morning. Give you guys an NBA DFS main slate video. Um, didn't do it last night. Uh, draft dashboard uh, was still updating, so I just said, screw it. I'll get up at 8 a.m., and uh, we'll do it then. You know who this is? This is Schroeder Skywalker, a.k.a. the GOAT. So at the end, towards the end of the video, Schroeder will be giving us his two triple-double calls and – sorry, two double-double calls and his triple-double call. Cheers, guys. It is my rock star, my morning rock star. I'm going to need it. So if you knew the video, welcome. Thank you for watching. Um, what we're going to do is first we go over – uh, the previous day's winnings, because um, we show the DFS club win, lose, or draw, how we did. Um, and then we go through the slate. We break it down big time. So grab a pen, paper, um, whatever you need to do, take notes, because the whole reason for this video is for everyone to win money, right? So with that said, Schroeder's already right here. He's ready. Let's get into it. So a review of last night's slate. Uh, we crushed it to say it lightly. Um, this was FanDuel. This, I got a 349, not too shabby. Um, total vested in FanDuel last night was $20. I won $86. So this is how I did on the main slate. I dropped this, uh, lineup in the chat room for the family. So now, yeah, not too bad. 51st out of 3,571 entrants. And I also put it in the very large tourney, too. And then let me show you that the showdown. All right, so this was the showdown, because everybody likes to play the showdown of the DFS club. So I dropped this in the chat room. Man, it was I was tied for first with uh, TB Baller, one of my members in this contest. And we were splitting $600 there for a long time. But it came in 25th, still not bad. Vested $9, won $40. So 25th, I will take it all day long. So Vandal was absolutely fantastic. And so was DraftKings. Let's get into DraftKings. All right, so here's a just a little overview of DraftKings. Um, tiers. So I dropped two tier lineups yesterday in the chat room, both cash. One came in fourth place. Damn near took it down. Um, this is the large contest. And... The night slate came in 43rd out of 356, best at 518, and the DraftKings showdown for the same game. Was in first for a while, came in third um, out of 118 entrants. So not too bad. $3 entry, $20 winner, and I split that with, you know, 10 of my closest friends. So, yeah, not too bad. Let's see here. So let's go. Let me show you the lineups, actually. All right, so here was the night slate lineup. Uh, Raj Rondo couldn't resist that price. Booker T is back. Like I said, he was. I told you about Bogdan Bogdanovich. What did I tell you all about Anthony Davis? I covered it in yesterday's video. He was going to go out there and smash because he was due, just like Westbrook was the day before that. Noel, what did I tell you about Noel in yesterday's video? He got out there. He went out there and got a 32. He got most of the minutes. He got more than uh, than Adams, I believe. So Chris Paul, CP3, I played him because of the bad history between him and Raj. Terrence Ferguson, I don't even know why the fuck he's in the NBA, to be honest with you. I don't know. It was basically my punt play. And then Frank the Tank came through late with a 25. I saw he got the start, so I threw him in. Um, and this was the DraftKings showdown that came in third. So I, I put Anthony Davis at captain instead of LeBron. It worked out great. Schroeder did his thing. Dwight Howard was the one that got me, I think. I think that's the one that got me. But other than that, Noel Rondo, absolutely outstanding. Out freaking standing, guys. Um, so, yeah, those are – that's what we did before, guys. Like I keep telling you, join the winning team. You guys got to join us to the DFS club. We'd love to have you. With that said, let's get into today's slate. All right, so if you're new – 
Um, this is what we're looking at here. Family is Draft Dashboard, the best optimizer on the planet. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard. One dollar for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below and Draft Dashboard is yours to try out. With that dollar, though, you also get access, <clears throat> excuse me, access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, which is my player pools, and you get the NBA cheat sheet. It gives you the best locks of the slate, best uh, studs, best mid-tier, best value, guys. And you get it also for uh, NFL and NHL. So there goes my voice. <clears throat> excuse me. <sighs> Sorry about that. So still in half sleep mode here. All right. So this is a draft dashboard. Let's go over to the injuries. This is a little bit better now that I'm filming it now instead of last night. We got a little bit more insight on the injuries. So um, Wiggins is out. Updated one hour ago. Isaac is going to play. Uh, Marcus Smart's going to play. Doesn't look like Jake Lehman's going to play. And... Yeah, so let's get into it, guys. So let's go to the position optimizer, and let's break it down. So we got our studs here on the top. We got James Harden at 11.8. His price did come down. Um, you could go there. Is it in a great matchup against Denver? Actually, let's say pretty good. Um, Harden in his last series got in a 56, a 66, and a 71. Nothing to laugh at, right? So it's, we have to make some tough decisions today on which studs we're going to pick because it's an 11 game slate. So you got to, you got to be choose wisely in these big slates. Smaller slates are easier. Big slates like this, if you don't have the person or persons that goes off, your lineup is dead. All right. So James Harden's definitely in consideration. Next up, Luka Doncic at 10 4. Uh, probably still too cheap. Um, and a great matchup against Golden Skate. The only thing that scares me is the blowout risk here. Um, but the price is great, 10-4, because Luca by next week, mind you, watch. His price will be 11 8 almost 12K. 77, 58, and a 73. He's probably, you know, him and James are the safest studs to pay up for. All right? So you can get yourself some Luka Doncic. I mean, the Warriors are ranked 23rd in the league against guards, as it is. I mean, they're not good against any position, to be honest with you, but Luka is definitely in play. Next up, you can save money here, and you can go with Trey Young, who's going to be the lowest owned out of the three. Always is. Um, he's only 9'4", 46, 37, 45. Coming back down to earth a little bit after those 50 and 60 point games he was having. Um, going up against Milwaukee in a great matchup. Again, you just got to worry about the blowout risk here because uh, Atlanta is like my Warriors. They're not a very good basketball team. So Milwaukee is – everyone's saying that they're going to go to the finals this year. So at 9-4, just worry about that blowout risk. Other than that, Trey Young is solid. Ice Trey is Ice Trey. Next up, Russell Westbrook at 8-6. I'm going to pass this late. There's just too many other people to choose from. I get it. The price is 8-6. But before the 67 guys, he was getting just 38s, 34s, and I'm not going to point Chase. If he does it again, then I will eat crow, and I'll say, damn it, I should have played Westbrook. But I don't see it happening again. Next up, Donovan Mitchell. He went out there and screwed us last time, big time. Um, going up against Minnesota, though, today. Like I said, no Wiggins. Um, they're ranked 23rd in the league against guards. 31, 53, and a 42, and at 7 7, I think Donovan Mitchell is a steal. Next up, Devontae Graham. Now, against Brooklyn. You guys saw what, what Holiday did against Brooklyn, right? Holiday. He went out there and damn near got, I think he got 50 fantasy points or damn near close, right? So just imagine what Graham's going to do to him. I think, I think, I know Drew Holiday was drafted before Graham, but Graham's been a more productive player this year, if that makes sense. Um, Brooklyn's ranked 30th, which is damn near last in the league against guards. So I guess they just let him shoot him, shoot them threes all day. So Graham is a steal at 6-7. His price was 7-1, so I'll definitely have a lot of exposure to Graham. Let's see. Next up, Terry Rozier is in play at 6K. Had a very bad game last game and got an 18, but his matchup is is phenomenal. 
I mean, same same thing. You can stack Rozier and Graham, and I wouldn't hate you for it, guys. He's only 6K. He's capable of getting you, I don't know. He's got a 53, 40, four games ago, he got a 53. So he's just kind of all over the place, but he won't completely wreck your slate unless he plays and gets an 18 like he did last game, right? So at 6K, you can go there. Uh, next up, Draymond Green. Again, I'll put him in my player pool. Had a great game last night. I was shocked. I was I couldn't believe it. LT had him on all his lineups. In case you guys don't know, LT is my uh, GBP specialist. Um, but it worked out. He, he knew it. I didn't think he would do it, but uh, I was wrong, and I'll admit I was wrong. Draymond Green had a great game last game, had a 42 fantasy points in 34 minutes, and the Warriors won that game, if you guys didn't uh, hear about that. But against Dallas again, I don't know, guys. I, I got to see another good game out of Draymond because there's a, it's up for debate whether he's even a good basketball player or not without talent around him. Just ask space. Next up, Alex Burks at 5-2. Yes, sir. I had him in, in pretty much all my lineups yesterday. Got a 45. If he gets a start, um, which he probably will. I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, Dallas is ranked 28th in the league in guards. So he can fire away and get you another 45, hopefully. At 5-2, that is a steal, guys. Um, all these other guys I'm going to skip over because they didn't make it to my player pool as of yet. Next up, we got Fat Fred Van Vliet at 7-4. Mr. Van Vliet is very capable of going out and getting between 40 and 50 fantasy points on any given day. So at 7-4, not too bad. Uh, Orlando is ranked 10th in the league against guards. Next up, I really like this play. Eric Bledsoe, I really like the price at 7-1. Um, he's due, right? And a great matchup against Atlanta, who's not good against anybody. So look, let's look at his last five, 22, 27. And then before that, he had a 50, a 44, and a 42. So when I say he's due, it's like a volcano or an earthquake, right? It's building, it's building, and then it's just going to break. So after two bad games, look for Bledsoe to go out there and get another between 40 to 50 fantasy points tonight, guys. And let's see. Next up for you, I have Nunn at 6-1. Nunn's been doing pretty good. He's been doing pretty solid. Uh, he's been chalky, too. So a lot of people caught on to the, the flying Nunn here. At uh, 6-1, you can go there. He'll get you between, what, 30 to – he's gotten a 46. So his last five games, 30, 46, 35, 20, 15. You can go there with Nunn. Um, he might be chalked, though. Just saying. Next up, Dante DeVincio, guys. Milwaukee. Especially in this game, in this script, if it blows out, he might get some extra run. He's only 4-7. Um, his last two games is what's really stood out to me. He's gotten 34 and 25 fantasy points. He's gotten 28 and 24 minutes. So he's not going to break the slate, so to speak. But at 4-7, that's great value. All right? Next up, always my value player right here is Mar Markel Fultz. Always. He always comes through, guys. He's 4'4". He'll always get you in the 20s. Between low to high 20s. That's just what he does. 27, 26, 20, 21, 18 in his last five. Last time he played Toronto, he had a 22. So at 4'4", if you need to fill that roster spot and hopefully your guy gets in the 20s, he's your dude. Absolutely. Fultz has yet to let me down this year. So, you know, tonight he probably will, because <laughs> I said that. So, that said, let's go to shooting guard. All right, so we covered these cats. So, let's go to Bradley Beal here. Now, I think because of so many studs on the slate, he might be low-owned at 9.5, because, you know, the price difference between him and Luka, it's pretty close, right? Um, honestly, yeah, I would go Luka, but don't rule out Beal at 9.5. He's been on a tear, 57, 68, 63, 39, 43. Um, going up against San Antonio, 51, 35, 45, 23, and 23. So San Antonio is not too bad at this position as far as defensively. So I would definitely pay up a go for Duncan. But Bradley Bill is worth a look. So you have to say that slow. Otherwise, I'll start 
blubbering like a fucking idiot, like I do on some of my videos. Uh, who else do we got? We got Norman Powell at 5'5". Five five. He's gotten 39 and 33 fantasy points in his last two. Um, 15, 25, and 27 before that. So he's worth us. I don't know, 5'5". Five five, I just like the price. Um, if he's going to hit you in the 30s, that'd be great. His minutes, they're pretty accurate. 25, 32, 27, you know. He's not going to get below 20, 25 minutes, hopefully. So Norman Powell is definitely in play. If you want to save some cash, we went over Fultz. And that's it. So let's go to small forward. So we got Giannis on the slate. I'm going to pass on Giannis at 11-2 this time. Um, just hasn't been playing Giannis basketball lately. So in a big slate like this, I don't want to take that risk. Next up, Paul George going up against Boston. Boston. We got to see how many minutes he's going to get. Um, if he's still on that stupid minutes restriction, I don't know. Maybe at 7-8. But if he's free, if we get the news, which is possible, that he's, you know, no limits restriction, by all means, please roll him out at 7-8. All right? You guys know what Paul George is capable of. I don't care if it's against Boston, the most boring team to watch in in the league because they play so damn slow. But uh, yeah, Paul George will be in play, even without the, even with the minutes restriction. I mean, look at his minutes are fading up: 24, 20, and then he had 29. So if he gets 30 or more, definitely hop on that Paul George train at 70. All right. Jimmy Butler, not a big fan. Next up, Tobias Harris, been showing out, 34, 33, and 47. He's only 6'2", which is great. Um, he's a safe play at 6'2", guys. Going up against New York. Hopefully, it'll be a uh, – I don't see why it wouldn't. Make sure that's on. Sorry. Make sure my mute button wasn't on. So, there's a big garbage truck that drives by every day, and it scares the hell out of Schroeder. Look at him. Look at him. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but he gets freaked the fuck out. Look at him. Poor guy. Forget. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh, my poor cat. Anyways, maybe you guys got to laugh about that. I did. So Tobias Harris, get him in there, guys. We went over Green. We went over Powell. Devencio. Markeith Morris at first some value, guys. I know. It's Markeith Morris. He's a safe 20-point guy, right? 20, 24, 21. But not often, but sometimes he might bust out with a 39 like he did five games ago. You catch him on a good day, he has a great matchup. Phenomenal matchup against Chicago, who's 30th in the league against small forwards and power forwards, guys. So I do love the matchup. So I think 4-6, you can take a chance here with Markeith Morris. He might play like his twin brother and get a 40 because the matchup is there, right? So definitely try him out at 4-6, or you can go with DFS, so, right? DFS at 20. Dorian Finley-Smith, he's only 4-6. Look at his last two games, 38 and 20 fantasy points, 35 and 31 minutes. So if you want to take that risk there, you can do that. Same price as Markeith Morris and just about the same type of matchup. Um, Golden State is worth like 27th in the league against guards, and he might get some extra run if it's a blowout. So you never know. I thought that Laker game last night would be a blowout. It was almost went into overtime. So you never, ever know. Next up for value, this guy, this man is way too cheap. Bertans going up against San Antonio now is ranked 29th in the league against power forwards and small forwards, guys. So, 4-5, look at he's getting 33s and 20s. That's what he's been doing. I um, mean, he doesn't he doesn't start, right? Even if he does, he only gets – he'll top out at 32 minutes. So, 33, 20, 29, 11, and 22 in his last five. And the last time he played San Antonio, he had a 32. So, 4-5, I love Vertans, guys. I'll probably have a lot of exposure to him. you got to find that value if you're going to play Luka. Right, because you don't want to do just you don't want to go you want to win, right? That's what we're all here for is to win. So hopefully I can help you get I can help get you there. I need another drink. My goodness. 
Cheers. I probably need one more after this. I'm not used to being up this early. Let's go to power forward. Um, I know I wanted to talk about somebody because of, I believe Jordan Clarkson's going to get a start today, guys. Where is he at? Let me pull him up here. Because we just got news. And Jordan Clarkson last game went off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse my language, guys. Yeah, so I wanted to cover him. So at 4 9, get him in there today, guys. All right. I heard he's going to get the start. Um, he's going to start alongside Tristan Thompson. So get him in there. All right. Sorry, guys. I forgot about the news. Let me check my phone right now, too, because. It's great because of the time of day. Instead of filming at night, the night before, we can go into fantasy labs here and see if anything has changed. So let's see. Andrew will act. Okay. So here we go. Andrew Wiggins right now is a game time decision. So he could play. Jake Lehman is out. Evan Turner expected to play. We even got starters for the Knicks. So the Knicks are going to roll out with Nikolita, Barrett, Morris, Randall, and Tosh Gibson. All right. There you go. So Barrett will get the start. Yeah. So here we go. Not so. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Let's get off of Jordan Clarkson. So Larry Nance Jr. Let's see what his price is. We'll get him in there. Woo, he's only 4-3. So Larry Nass Jr. is going to get the start today, guys. Not Jordan Clarkson. I apologize. So he's a must play. He is a must play. That's where we're at right now. At 4-3, get his ass in there. Um, He balled out last game. He'll do it again. So let's go back to the player pool. Uh, Position optimizer. Sorry. I, it's a good thing I checked the news, right? Now that it's all updated, as of 9.50 in the morning, San Jose time, that just came to my mind, so I'm glad I, I brought that up. So, Bertons, we went over. There he is, Larry Nance Jr. Let's get him in there. He's coming back from injury, too. Ah, he's cheap. 4-3. And the Clipper, sorry, Miami is ranked 24th in the league against Biggs. So, not very good. Game should be close. Let's go to center. So off the tops, we got Carl Anthony Towns, Schroeder's favorite player in the league. Cat, right? Cat. I wonder why. So at 9-6, that's actually not too bad. And an okay matchup against Utah. Last game, we got a 63, then a 56, and a 55. So if you want to stack him and Luka, I mean, that'd be a good good plan. Next up, we got Andre Drummond. Who's in a phenomenal matchup against Chicago, ranked 26th in the league, 26th against Bigs. So you don't even need to give Drummond a reason. You can save some salary here and, and try him out. I mean, yeah, 44, 33, 42. Guess who's due? Guess who's due, right? Look at his last five versus Chicago, 67, 38, 64, 60, and 29. So after having 44, 33, 42, 45, 54 fantasy points, he's due. So look out for Drummond. You'll kick no freaking way. And they still got his price at 8-4. This man's barely getting 30 fantasy points a game. When is DraftKings going to learn? Next up, I like Clint Compella. And this is not point chasing, guys. He's been killing it all year. He got a 58 last game. Um, Going up against Denver, who's ranked 20th in the league against Big Ben. At 7-9, you can definitely roll him out, too. Absolutely. Wouldn't hate you for it. Um, let's see. Porzingis against Golden State? No. Not with, not with the blowout risk. Al Horford? No. Laurie Markkinen is just way too cheap. But I'll put him in the player pool. I see why he's only 5-4. He hasn't been doing that well. But you know what he's capable of, right? So not my favorite play. 
Joel Embiid, I'll pass in this game, or this slate, sorry. Vooch, what's he got? Uh, against Toronto's eighth in the league, but Vooch has been on fire. You can try Luch, Vooch, Luch, I haven't said Luch, Vooch at 9-1, and I wouldn't hate you for it. Siakam, I'm going to pass. I won't pass on this man. Bam and Abayu, just way too cheap. 52, 45, and 38 in his last three. Going up against Cleveland, they're ranked 21st in the league against Biggs. So definitely go there. Fat Boy, LaMarcus Aldridge, no thank you. Montrizzle, 7K. I mean, yeah, I'll put him in my player pool. I'm not too high on this game, but Julius Randle's in a very tough spot today, guys. So keep that in mind against Philly. They're ranked number one in the league against Biggs. Ranked number one. So he's probably, he's, you know, reasonable at 7K. If you want to take that chance, but I'm going to pass. That's just me. Paul Millsap at 6-1. Oh, I will definitely get some action there. Hopefully the game stays close, which it probably will. Millsap's been playing very good. He's He will get you a 30, right? 39, 32, 33, 31, and 38. So at 6-1, you're looking for a comfortable 30 or more. Get yourself some Millsap. He was a lot cheaper. Don't even get me started on Brooke Lopez, all right? 50 and 38 in his last two. Is this just, you know, the chances of him getting a 50 again is probably the same as you going outside, getting hit by a car, and being struck by lightning at the same time. All right? That will not happen again. But at 5'9", if you want to go there, you got some salary left over, and you want a, maybe a 38 or a 20, there you go. Brooke Lopez is your dude. And if you played him last slate, Thinking he was going to get a 50, you're either a psychic or just extremely lucky. But good for you. Good for you. Gasol, no thanks. Jordan, no thanks. Mitchell Robinson, no. I do like Jarrett Allen. Absolutely. He's still getting 30s, guys. What did I tell you? He's got a great matchup against Charlotte. You can't block nobody down low. Charlotte sucks against bigs. He's just not even starting either, which is pretty dumb. I'd rather see him get the start. He's only getting 24, 21, 29 minutes, but he's getting the points. 30, 31, 33. So we can definitely go there. Cauley Stein at 5-1 against Dallas. I'll pass because of the matchup. Um, let's see. I'm not hearing about no injuries to Miami yet, so I'm going to stay away from a Linux this one. Uh, I already talked about Nance. Zubots at 4-3. You can go there. You can go there with Zubots. He'll get you. He'll get you between what? He's been doing all right lately, actually. 27 and 31 in his last two. So maybe they're taking him as a center more seriously in, in LA. So 4-3, that's great value. Dwight Powell, man, I don't know what happened to him. He just sucks. Daniel Thice always gets a start, but he always gets 15 fantasy points. So I will pass. I'll take a hard pass there. Um, the fuck is Daniel Gafford? He got 20 minutes last game, 33 fantasy points. Huh. All right, I'll put him in my player pool because he's only 3-8. Let's see how many minutes Gafford's going to get. I've never heard of this guy. But he got one game and he got 30, 33 fantasy points. Not too bad. Cantor, no thanks. Uh, Marquise Chris has been having a couple, two, two last two games have been good, 35 and 24. Um, I don't know if it really matters the ball run. These Warriors players are cheap and they're getting production. So Chris is definitely in play at 3-7. There's a lot of value to be had at center. I love it. Zizek, no thank you. I'm not falling for that trap again. No way. Uh, let's see. I can make a funny joke there, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it PG. I want to thank you guys again for my viewership. So just been going through the roof. My views have improved by like 500% since the NBA season. And I really appreciate it, guys. So I'm going to, I'm going to tone down the language. All right. I'm going to tone it down unless you guys want me to be myself and do that. But other than that, guys, I just, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. So that's going to do it, guys. So we covered every position. So, at this point in the video, 
Before we get into Schroeder's picks, so Schroeder, we're going to go to my player pool here, and Schroeder's going to give you his double-double takes and his triple-double triple double takes, guys. Before we get there, i got to show you guys how to join the family. Um, I show you daily what we do in there. Um, we are the DFS Club. So if you go to www.dfsclub.com, join the family. We got DFS space in there. We got myself. We got the DFS whispers, guys. So for one low price, and when I say low, I mean nobody in the industry can touch it. You get every single sport because we play every single sport. Shout out to Preston, my NHL specialist. Had another takedown last night. Congratulations, Preston. Um, after we go through this, I'll show you real quick. I'll, you guys will get a sneak peek into the chat room, and I'll show you what he did in NHL. But for one price, guys, you get NBA, NFL, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, college basketball, college football, guys. You get everything. We're over 500 strong. Shout out to the club. Shout out to the specialists in there. Thank you, guys. Um, we're all winning together, and it's a beautiful thing. Just click the Join Now button. Just click on my logo. And shout out to LT, man. LT is my GPP specialist. So look at these prices, guys. You, no one in the industry can touch it. This isn't per sport. Okay, people get that confused because they're so used to it. No, this is for every single sport. Um, we cover prize picks. We cover FanDuel, DraftKings, Monkey Night Fight. Uh, God, how many, other, how many other ones do we do? Everything. Everything, guys. We cover them all. So don't worry about it. We got you covered. Um, 24 seven tips and advice. Cause all, we're all in there, guys. It's not just myself and space and the whispers. We got the sharks in there. We got the experts in there. We got LT in there. We got Dwayne in there. Um, we got triple OG. I mean, these are people that are known in the industry. All right. They're, trust me, they're known. Um, we got members only podcasts that we do sometimes, guys. Those are very insightful. And then I started dropping my, I'd say cheat sheets, which are my must haves of the day, my, uh, GPP plays of the day and cash plays of the day. So everyone seemed to like that. So here's your plans, guys. $25 a month for every single sport. No one can touch it. You can save uh, money and go six months. You can go for a full year. And basically you get six months for free. Or you can check us out with a three-day pass. So this is www.dfsclub.com. Let me show you the chat room real quick. All right. So this is our, this is what we call our Hall of Fame room, right? This is where everybody posts their uh, their winnings. So Preston had a takedown last night again. Bet four dollars, guys. Won a hundred bucks. Absolutely wonderful. See everybody, all the members. There's Jaleel. There's mine from last night. We got Diaze. First takedown. Congratulations. I mean, we have so much fun in here. We have Triple OG. See, we have fun. <laughs> um, this is just our Hall of Fame channel. We have channels for every single sport, guys. As you can see, it's very user-friendly. Very, very user-friendly. Um, we have European basketball. That's right. Coming up in two hours. So we got to get on that. And with that said, guys... It is time for your favorite part of the video and mine, hashtag Schroeder's Picks. Let's get into it. All right, Schroeder. He's sitting right here. He's just right off the camera. I got to get one of those, like, box cameras or something so you can see him. So, Schroeder, the big scary truck is gone. So, take a look at the player pool, and you tell us, hi, and you tell us who's getting the first double-double, all right? You know, you got to take a look. Who's it going to be? Oh. Okay, you've been watching the whole time. Wait. Okay. So Schroeder says Andre Drummond's getting the first double double. That's a good choice. Now you're now you're focused in, huh? All right. So I just get it out of the way, or are you even gonna look before you tell him who's getting the second one? All right. Pretend like pretend like you're looking, because I already know what you're gonna say. Who's getting the second one? Get get comfy. Get comfy. Who's getting the second one? Yeah. So, so he says, Carl Anthony Towns, cat. I wonder why he's biased, like in the MLB season, his favorite player is Mike Trout. And gee, I wonder why. So, all right, Schroeder, good job. So now you got to tell us, forget about those birds out there. I want you to tell us who's going to break the slate, Schroeder. Who's going to get us 
the triple double that nobody's talking about. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I don't know, Schroeder. He's looking. He's looking. Who's it going to be? Who's getting the triple double? All right. So you guys heard it here first. That's a good. All right. He loves Vooch. I don't know why, but he loves picking Vooch. So he says Vooch is going to get a triple double, guys. So that's going to do it for hashtag Schroeder's picks. You can take those to the bank because he's right more than I am. So <laughs> we have fun on here, guys, like I always say. So let's get you guys a free lineup before we get up out of here. So we can go to the lineup optimizer. You can do this a million times with Draft Dashboard. Let's see what we got today. We got Draymond Green, Alex Burks. Tobias Harris, Larry Nance, Drummond, Rozier, Marketing, and Mitchell. This is a very balanced lineup, and I love this lineup. So I will save this for my draft dashboard members. And for you guys, write it down. Throw it in a, a 25 cent uh, contest or whatever. And see what happens. You never know. I did post a couple of millionaire maker winners on here as free lineups. That is on my resume. So Schroeder and I are going to get up out of here. Before we do, guys, come join the family, www.dfsclub.com. Plenty of room for everyone. Um, we have fun in here. Just thinking about it just makes me laugh and smile because, uh, yeah, we built a great community. There's no nobody disrespects each other. You come in, you're lost, whatever. you got 500 people who be like, hey, how you doing? Let me show you how this works, all right? So we help you become a better DFS player, most importantly. We help you with your lineups, how to build them, how to find that value, that best bang for your buck. And we're, we did this just to give the whole industry a middle finger that are charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We're like, you know what? That's BS. Everybody should have a provider. So let's make it affordable for everybody. And that's what we did. We done changed the game, guys. It has changed because we have 500 members. We've only been doing this for three months. So I'm very proud of that. And don't forget, draft dashboard, $1 for 30 days. All right. I'm going to get up out of here. It's mon It feels like a Monday morning. It's a Wednesday morning. Still waiting. I'm in sunny San Jose, California. We still have not had any rain since, uh, I'd say, May. Still no rain yet. Hopefully it's coming. But uh, Short and I are going to get up out of here, guys. Let's get that bread. Um. God bless you. God bless your families. Be safe. And let's have fun. Let's get it, guys. Like the, like, uh, space says. So I'm going to get up out of here. Look out for my video. Let me know if you'd rather see them, um, overnight. Cause I know some of you guys like to watch them before you go to work or if you like them the day of. So let me know in the comments below and I will accommodate you accordingly. All right. Cause I'm here for you. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care.